Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we have saw the workflow of Kafka, where we learn how the messages get traveled from the producers to the consumers through Kafka brokers. Today, we are going to see the role of ZooKeeper. We will cover what is ZooKeeper and then we will see how the ZooKeeper is acting as a central coordinator. At the last, we will also learn how do the producers or the consumers find out who the leader of partisan is. So let us start. So what is ZooKeeper? A critical dependency of Apache Kafka is Apache ZooKeeper, which is distributed configurations and the synchronization service. Here, ZooKeeper serve as a coordinator interface between Kafka brokers, producers and the consumers. So basically, ZooKeeper is acting as an intermediate media or the entity between the Kafka brokers, producers and the consumers. Kafka store the basic metadata in the ZooKeeper, such as information about the brokers, topics, partitions, leaders, followers and the consumer offset and some more information. So let us see how the ZooKeeper is acting as a central coordinator. As we know, Kafka brokers are stateless. They rely on the ZooKeeper to maintain and coordinate the brokers, such as notifying the consumers and the producer of arrival of the new brokers or the failure of existing brokers, as well as routing all the requests to partition leaders. Since Ju here, Kafka broker is completely stateless. So it depends on the ZooKeeper to store the important information for the communication purpose, such as it is used to notify the consumer and the producer of the arrival of new consumer or if there is any failure of existing Kafka broker. So that type of the information is informed by the ZooKeeper and the Kafka broker is completely rely on the ZooKeeper for getting all this information. Apart from that, it also routing all the requests to partition leader. So ZooKeeper is also uh, used to uh, store the information about the partition leaders. So now let's see ZooKeeper is used for storing all the sort of metadata about the Kafka cluster. So it maintains the last offset position of each consumer group per partition so that consumer can quickly recover from the last position in case of any failure. Although modern client store the offset in the separate, separate Kafka topic. So basically it is used to maintain the last offset position of each consumer group per partitions. If you don't know what is consumer group, group what is topic partition, I cover earlier in the previous video. ZooKeeper is also used to track the topics, number of partitions that I assigned to the topics and leaders followers location in each partitions. So it is also used to store the topics and how many number of partition are assigned to that particular topics. And after that, who is the leader of the partition? If you remember, the topic is break down into the smaller fragment, which we call partitions and each partition is get distributed across the multiple brokers, Kafka brokers. And one of the partition is chosen as a leader and rest of them is act as a followers. So who is the leader and who is the follower? All this information get a store in the ZooKeeper. ZooKeeper is also manage the access control list to different topics in the cluster. ACLs is nothing but the access control list are used to enforce, enforce the access or authorization. So the information about authorization and the access is also used to store in the ZooKeeper. So these are the things which is used. Uh, this is the, actually these are the things which is used to store in the ZooKeeper. Now let us see how do producers or the consumer find out who the leader of partition is. So as you know, the topic is break down into the smaller fragment, which we called topic partitions and each partitions having the leaders and there are some followers. So how do 
the producers or the consumer find out who is the leader of that particular particular partition so in the older version of the kafka all the clients such as producers or the consumers I used to directly talk to the zookeeper to find the partition leader. So here producer and the consumer are nothing but your uh, service. For example, if you are working in Java, then you, you if you are working in a Spring Boot application, then there might be one a service or a Spring Boot service which is acting as a producer, which is responsible for publishing the message on the Kafka broker. And there will be some other uh, uh, Spring Boot service which is acting as a consumer, which is responsible for consume the message from the Kafka broker. So in the uh, older version of the Kafka, these services like producer and consumers used to directly talk to zookeeper to find out the partition leader. But in the latest version, Kafka has moved away from this coupling. And in the Kafka latest release, clients fetch the metadata information from the Kafka brokers directly. So broker talk to zookeepers to get the latest metadata. Therefore, in the latest version, the producers and the consumer is not going to rely on the zookeeper. They are not going to directly talk to zookeeper. Instead, they directly communicate with the Kafka broker and then Kafka broker is only responsible for find talk to zookeeper and find out who is the partition leader. So in the diagram below, the producer goes through the following steps before publishing a message. So these are the steps where producer go through before publishing any message on the Kafka broker. So in the very first step, the producer connects to any of the available brokers Kafka broker and ask for the leader of partition one. So in this step, the producer will first connect to any of the available Kafka broker and will ask for the leader who is the leader of partition one. Then the broker respond with the identification of leader broker responsible for partition one. At the last, the producer connect to the leader broker to publish the message. You can see from this diagram. So this is the producer one. It will first ask from the Kafka broker, like suppose it uh, connect to the Kafka broker two and ask for the, who is the leader of this partition one. So if you see from this diagram, the leader is Kafka broker one. Partition one is the leader, uh, of the leader of partition one is present in Kafka broker one. So it will send the uh, response to the producer one as a metadata response and which is contain the information about who is the leader of partition one. Then finally, the producer one will publish the message on the leader partition, right? So these are the flow. This is the diagram, what it means. Now let us cover some of the most important information about the zookeeper. So all the critical information is stored in the zookeeper and zookeeper replicate this data across its cluster. So whatever the information get stored in the zookeeper, it is again duplicated or get replicated to across the different cluster. Therefore, failure in the Kafka broker or the zookeeper itself does not affect the state of cluster. So it means that if any of the like a zookeeper uh, broker or the zookeeper is get failed, then it will not lose any, it will not affect the state of Kafka cluster. Upon failure of the zookeeper, Kafka will always be able to restore the state once the zookeeper restart after the failure because the earlier state of the zookeeper is also present in the Kafka broker. So in the, in the worst case, if the zookeeper get failed, or it get done, then the Kafka still know the information which is useful for further communications. So once the zookeeper restart after the failure, it will uh, Kafka broker will restore the state of zookeeper. Zookeeper is also responsible for coordinating the partition leader election between the Kafka brokers in the case of leader failure. Suppose in this diagram, 
the leader, uh, the broker, Kafka broker one is acting as a leader. Suppose it get failed, then the two keeper again act as a uh, election coordinator, which will assign or make any of the available Kafka broker as a leader. For example, then Jew keeper will choose either the broker two or the broker three will be the leader of partition one in the case when the Kafka broker one get failed or get done. So these are the information I wanted to explain in this video. So let us summarize what are the things we have covered. We saw what is Jewkeeper. We also learned how the Jewkeeper is acting as a central coordinator between the producers, consumers and the Kafka brokers. At the last, we also see how do producers or the consumer find out who the leader of partition is. So in the next tutorial, we will see the controller broker. We will cover the controller brokers and we will learn many new things in that tutorial. So thank you so much for watching.